I've just had a fantastic conversation with uh, Paul Bodner, formerly of the Obama White House, um, and an old colleague and friend of mine. Um, Paul now is a key part of the America's Pledge Initiative and has been part of the planning for the GCAS, the Global Climate Action Summit here in San Francisco. Really hope you join the conversation. Um, Paul, so what does success look like for GCAS? Well, Anthony, who would have thought uh, in those dark days of, of early last year when we were coming to terms with the fact that the Trump administration was going to do the unthinkable and, and pull the United States out of the Paris Agreement, who would have thought that we'd be standing here and seeing this incredibly vibrant upwelling of climate action by uh, states, cities, businesses, faith groups, universities, you name it. It's really, it's really amazing to see and it gives me hope that we can actually build a, 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 an approach to this problem that's, more, that's resilient to the whims of national elections. So despite the Trump administration disavowing climate action and the Paris Agreement, you know, hashtag we're still in. Oh, yeah, well, emphatically so, yeah. I and mean, there's beautiful surroundings of uh, San Francisco. I think you can sort of see the bay and the bridge there. So thank you, Paul. Well, please um, watch the conversation. Please join in, become part of the conversation. Subscribe to Green and Tonic. Um, and um, yeah, I look forward to uh, speaking with you more. Thank you, Paul. Thanks.